that's who we are as humans, right? Like we, we like to explore and we have been doing it since uh, the beginning of the uh, of human history. I always put also the example of uh, Atmundsen when he went to Antarctica. Uh, he, he went there, he made it and uh, we didn't return there until 50 years later. And we went there to have permanent uh, scientific basis. And no one knew what we would discover. But uh, then in the 80s, someone discovered the O2 layer problem that we are having in this area. And uh, we changed the way we, uh, we behave with the aerosols in, uh, in the whole world. And actually we have managed to control the opening of the o o ozone uh, layer. It's not yet close, but uh, at least it's not getting worse. And I think it's a clear case of success where uh, exploration and uh, science, that's what we do, uh, change the life of everyone here in Earth for, uh, for the best. I was talking to an astronaut uh, before embarking the ship and uh, she told me that the feeling she had when uh, she was in space was that the Earth was super powerful. You can see hurricanes, you can see volcanoes, you can see different patterns changing and uh, a really a planet that is alive. Uh, when we fight uh, for climate change and we, when we try to change things, we we are fighting for our own, own survival. We are not fighting for life on the planet. We can uh, exterminate lots of ecosystems. We can do a lot of harm, but life and Earth will continue without us. Uh, we are really fighting for our own survival. We are the most fragile uh, link uh, of the chain.